Hi guys, it's Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and welcome to my channel um, and welcome to my workshop. Today I have a video where I'm going to compare um, an inkjet printer with a laser jet printer when using Mod Podge for um, graphic transfer. That's probably the most common question that I get asked. Why can't I use an inkjet? Why do I have to have a laser jet to do this technique? So today what I'm going to do, I'm going to print off one with an inkjet one graphic with an inkjet and one graphic with a laser jet and I'm going to do them side by side so you can see the difference of how well one turns out compared to the other and we'll see what the outcome is and we'll have an answer. So I hope you enjoy today's tutorial and if you like DIYs, repurposing um, and uh, thrifting, I'd love to have you follow along. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great content. I'll also put the link below for everything that I've used today and um, my links to my Instagram and my Facebook because I'm always really active over there um, posting my day-to-day -day stuff that I do so you don't miss out on anything. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm starting with two pieces of pine. Um, I've chalk painted them with my homemade chalk paint recipe and I've printed off two graphics, one from my laser jet and one from my ink jet. I'm just gonna cut them out and put them on the sign to size them up before I Mod Podge them onto the wood. So this is the graphic printed off the ink jet printer. And this is the graphic that's printed off on my laser jet printer. This is probably the most common question that I get asked when I'm making my graphics this way is why can't I use an inkjet printer? Um, I don't have a laser jet printer. Can I try it with my inkjet? And today I'm going to show you the difference between using the two printers so you'll know how it turns out in the end and whether you want to do it with either printer. The first thing that I've noticed is how much brighter and darker my laser jet printed graphic is than my inkjet graphic. Okay, now we're ready to put them on the wood. I'm using this DecoArt Decopage. Um, it's just like Mod Podge, same thing. I'll put a link below in the description on Amazon. And you're just going to take a paintbrush and just put a light coat all over the whole graphics. Um, I'm just doing the laser jet printer one now and I'm going to spread it all over and then press it down firmly on the wood and take out all the air bubbles and the little wrinkles. And now we're ready to put on the inkjet. I'm going to do the same thing, a light coat all over the whole graphic and then press it down on the piece of wood and get out all the wrinkles and all the little air bubbles. Okay, all set. This is inkjet and this one's the laser jet. So let's let them sit and see what happens. Okay, I've let them dry overnight and I'm going to do the laser jet one first. So I'm just gonna take a damp rag and rub it all over the graphics until you can just start to see them coming through. You don't wanna get them too wet, otherwise you will rub the graphics right off. It's um, kind of takes a little bit of practice and patience, but just wet it so you can just see it and then rub all the paper away. This is a laser jet printer graphics, all finished. 
Okay, now we're gonna start the graphics from the inkjet printer. Same technique, you're gonna um, just dampen it uh, with a wet rag until you can see the graphics come through, and then you're gonna rub off all of the paper. What I'm starting to notice right away is the ink is actually rubbing off um, with the paper. It's kind of making black smudges. Um, it's not horrible, it's not completely coming off, but it's not as clean and crisp as with the uh, laser jet. So I'm just going to keep rubbing it off and we'll see what else happens. I'm also finding it's a bit more sticky than the laser printer. Um, it's almost kind of has a gummy feel when I'm rubbing off the paper, which I didn't have with the laser jet printer. Um, and that might be a little bit of a, a problem also, but so far it's not horrible. Okay, so here's the end result. This one is the inkjet, and you can see how the ink is kind of smudged and it's kind of rubbed off in some places and it just isn't crisp and clean. And this is the laser jet. So here's my thoughts. If you're just gonna do one or two signs at home, I would definitely just use an inkjet and don't invest in a laser jet printer. Um, it actually is not that bad and it looks not too shabby. Um, if you're doing it professionally for an Etsy store or you're selling your signs, I would probably go and buy a laser jet printer just because it's more clean and crisp looking. But this, uh, the inkjet is actually not too bad. I hope you enjoyed today's video and we'd love for you to like, subscribe and follow along. Have a great day.